Donald cooks just like me, very badly. This week I've been really busy, not just looking out films, but opening mail as well. We've had so many entries for our football writer competition. If you remember, what you had to do was choose your favourite goal from last season and describe it in not more than a hundred words. And one of the judges was Steve McGarry, who illustrates goals for Match magazine, and he's here today to tell us who the winner is. Steve, first of all, what was the overall standard like? We were pleasantly surprised. Honestly? Because, yeah, the standard was very, very good. It seemed that everybody had sat down and actually thought about what they were going to write, you know. Really yes. good. Yes. And did they sort of do the build-up? Because when you were here before, we were talking about them, you know, the, the fact that yeah, you actually yeah. illustrate the build-up to the goal, and then the actual goal itself. Did they do all that? Yeah, it seemed that people had actually researched the goals. I mean, they were going back like two and three minutes into a move to tell you how it built up and who was involved and how it finished up. And yeah. that then, of course, meant you had to do research to find out who was <laughs> right. Uh, telling the truth, yeah. <laughs> and what was the overall response like? Very encouraging, yeah. It seemed a good response. That's good. Now, what was the most popular goal that people sent in? Well, we found that there was, even though entries came in from all over the country, we found that there was a strong northern bias. Everybody seemed to want to write about Manchester United or, or Liverpool. Why do you think that is? Oh, that uh, was. Well, I don't know. They seemed to win everything between them last season, so that could be one of the reasons. Yes. In actual fact, um, we had a lot of entries uh, describing Ray Wilkins' goal in the cup final, and and that's the, one of the one of the reasons that we chose the winning goal. Yes. Uh, and that is the winner, Ray Wilkins, in the cup final. Right. And was it a hard decision? Um, yeah, very hard. Now we can take a look at that goal now and see what our winner, who is Stephen Nichols, has made of it. With the score at one each, Stephen writes, Manchester United broke from defence with Arnold Muren in possession of the ball. From inside his own half, the Dutchman played a long crossfield pass to Ray Wilkins. It was a pass that had opened up the Brighton defence and it gave the cool Wilkins time to check himself, look up and expertly drive a spectacular curling shot over Brighton keeper Graham Mosley's despairing dive. What a goal! Now, Steve, why was that the winner? Well, I mean, it was such an important goal, uh, and, and it was a great goal. Mm -hmm. uh, we, as I said, had quite a few entries saying that that was such a good goal, and we eventually picked Stephen Nichols' uh, entry because he'd written it so well. Uh, he actually told us exactly what happened. I mean, from the ball coming out of the United area all the way through to the going into the back of the Brighton net. Mm -hmm. uh, and he impressed us with his honesty because Stephen's a, a Chester boy and, and a Liverpool supporter. Mm -hmm. So by picking Manchester United, he must have been telling the truth. Well, we can bring Stephen in now because here you are. Congratulations. Okay. Well done. Tell us all about uh, the research for the, for the actual goal. Well, what I did was I thought of all the good goals of last season. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I'll do Ray Wilkins because it's an important one. Yes. And a lot of people saw it as well. Right. Now, you're obviously a keen soccer fan. Yeah. Were you actually at the match? No. You weren't? No. Amazing. What about future plans? Would you like to be a sports journalist? Yeah. What other sports are you interested in be, uh, besides soccer? Uh, cricket, badminton, basketball. Mm -hmm. Do you do any, any writing at all, I mean, for... A, for the school magazine or, or school paper? I'm starting to. I yeah. decided I was going to now. Because you've, you've really got to have a comprehensive kind of interest in, 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 in other sports. How do you think you'd like to write on other sports as well? Well, I haven't given it a thought yet, but I suppose I'd better start. Right. Now, we've got a surprise for you now, because here to present your prize is one of the men who played in that cup final, Manchester United fullback Arthur Alveston. Here he is, bearing gifts. Hello. Hello. What do you think to our budding sports reporter then, Arthur? Very good. Um, I liked his little piece tremendously and um, he shows a lot of um, truth uh, being a Liverpool supporter he's picked a Manchester United goal. <laughs> now, of course, you were in the penalty area in, in that particular clip. Why were you there? What were you doing there? Well, we've been under a bit of pressure. Um, we're in, in defence and we broke... Uh, Arnie passed the ball up the field to Ray and he seemed to be all on his own, so I thought, well, I'd better get up there and help him and uh, just in case he needs me, but as it happened, he didn't. Right. Now, you're talking about honesty there. Do you find, generally, that, that, that sports writers tend to gloss a bit and sort of not quite tell the truth about what happened, or...? Um, well, I think uh, all sports writers have their own little ideas, um, and obviously if you get people from um, up north or down south, they'll follow their own teams, but generally they're, they're very good. Right. Now, you better present that too. Uh, to yeah, Steve. this is a framed copy uh, okay. of the race goal, and that's the actual art drawn off it. OK. And, uh, I couldn't give you my shot from the cup final um, from that match because it got stolen, but uh, this is the next best thing. It's the 
It's the charity shield shirt that I wore against What's Liverpool uh, when we beat your team 2-0. Sounds like a I hope you don't good. throw it in the bin. <laughs> Congratulations. For that. Well done, Stephen. And of course, thanks to Arthur and Steve for coming in this morning. I think Stephen could give the hero of our next cartoon a few writing tips. It's another fractured fairy tale all about the storyteller who is looking for some new material.